866 We Be Big. It's become a staple this year, first year ever. On Fridays during football season, breaking down college football around the country. No one does it better. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to put your hands together uh, for our friend. And, of course, a, it has become an Internet uh, sensation. And, of course, that is our friend. There it is, Dr. Lou. Dr. Lou, Dr. Lou, that's Dr. How about it, Dr. Lou? Guys, normally I don't get too fired up about the happenings in college football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh, I'm boy. fired up today. Oh, oh no. well, you see, a lot, a lot going on this week. up. Because when I see Dookie Pellets being thrown in a 20-year-old kid's face for no good reason other than to make him lose a Heisman because there's a crybaby SEC coach whose feelings are hurt because Tim Tebow hasn't visited him in Gainesville recently, <laughs> it grinds my gears. <laughs> So you grind your gears. <laughs> That's right. But before we discuss the situation involving Sir Cam Lott of Newton, let's recap this past week's big game. <laughs> I want to give my lose leprechaun right out of the gate today. <laughs> oh, so here they go. Oh. You're throwing them. Oh, I love these. Right. Te- lose leprechauns to go to who? Texas Aggies AM for defeating the number eight Oklahoma Spooners, Spooners. In, in Fire Station, Texas. Yeah. 33 to 19. The highlight of the game came with the Aggie AMs. Defense stopped the Spooners on three straight downs on the one-yard line. Wow. The big victory has propelled the Ag AMs to number four in my poll. So they're up to four. That's right. <laughs> Behind the University of Notre Dame, the Arkansas Razor Fronts, yep. and, Razor the South, Fronts. and the South Carolina Gamecocks. Okay, so okay. That, that's your top four. That's right. And speaking of University of South Carolina, I haven't seen a defense as stifling as dominant as theirs since Pittsburgh Steel Curtain defense in the 70s. Wow. The Gamecocks defense – only gave up 41 points and 450 yards this past <laughs> weekend against the Ra- Arkansas Razor Fronts. But keep in mind, the Razor Fronts are the number two team in the country. Oh, well, well, that's a great on, you, on, yeah. your, on your poll. On your that's, poll. That's, that's right. That's right. I mean, of course, they beat number one. That's right. Staying, staying in the uh, same conference, the LSU Bingo Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Toads met in a classic SEC showdown this past weekend in Tiger Stadium. And head LSU coach Leslie Miles Proved to be the key in leading the Tigers to victory. His outlandishly risky play call on a fourth and one late in the game paid off as the Tigers went on to beat the Toads 24-21. But an even bigger story from this game. No bigger than that. Was the video evidence that confirms what we've all known from observing his coaching tactics. And that's that Les Miles does grass. (laughs) (laughs) I thought he might have stolen one of your leprechauns. No, that's... And, and, and since, too, Rick, since this video has surfaced, reports out of Baton Rouge say that Truett Cathy has contacted the coach to gauge interest in joining the grain-fed herd of mascots at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, that one's all bad. <laughs> yeah, it home, didn't it? <laughs> that was amazing. I was, thought we had surround sound there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to go ahead and, and turn our attention back to the situation of Sir Cam Lott of Newton. Uh-oh. It's my opinion that this entire situation connects back to the Sunflower State to Mr. Urban Meyer III. Oh, really? Let's all take a step back and call it like it is. If Urban were a woman, he'd be a gold digger. <laughs> 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 and even even the ladies from Desperate Housewives and Sex in the City would be impressed at the way, <laughs> at the way that he used his sugar daddy, Tim Tebow, to get what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But now that his sugar daddy's going to the NFL, Urban doesn't know what to do. He's got a mediocre football team and a broken heart. <laughs> and all these developments with his health issues after last season are starting to make complete sense. And I'd like to just have a quick heart-to-heart with Urban before we discuss right now, next time. Right, right now. Right here. Right, show, Urban, you're going to talk to Urban Meyer right now. Wow, That's right. Urban, what can I say? I know your heart's hurting, son. I remember my first breakup like it was yesterday. There's an all-too-familiar pain that is incurable. Makes you want to reach in the pit of your stomach, grab that pain, and roll it up like a booger and flick it off your finger. <laughs> <laughs> or, or wipe it against the wall under your desk. But, but that's not how it works. Like I always say, challenges aren't just boogers that you can roll up and flick out of your that's life. Right. Or, or eat and expect not to have an upset stomach. That's right. 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 Well, said. well said. Well ah. said. And I know your team stinks. I know. Daddy's here. <laughs> he knows. He knows. You've had a stinky team or two, hadn't you? <laughs> he, he feels it. He feels it. But, but, son, 
you can't just be taking out your frustration by flinging Zuki in the face of everyone who, who has what you want. And I know you want milk chocolate, too, Bo. But he doesn't want you. He's moved on. So go on, cry it out. Y'all catch that one in a minute. Yeah, so go... So go cry it out and retire and then unretire and retire and then unretire again if that's what you need to do. Because by trying to hurt Cam Newton, you are only hurting yourself. It's like a famous saying goes. If you throw a dookie pellet hard enough, you're gonna you're bound to suit your eye out and damage your retina. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it does seem like these anti Cam efforts could be originating in Florida where two years ago. Urban Meyer decided that Cam Newton was the third best quarterback on their football team. Yep. Frankly, that, that story ranks right up there with the high school coach who told a ninth grader named Michael Jordan that he wasn't good enough to make the basketball team. Oh, well, yeah. 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 And in commemoration of this dumb decision by Urban Meyer, my sources now tell me the state of Florida is changing its official state fruit from the orange to the sour grape in honor of their coach. <laughs> <laughs> when you cross the state line in Florida, new signs, with urban space on them, we'll read, Welcome to Florida. Pucker up. <laughs> <laughs> Before we move on from Meyer, I will tell you guys that I made a phone call yesterday. Oh, you did? I yeah. sure did. So, to the Florida coach himself. I asked him if he had any connection to these allegations. And he notified me of a source who has not been identified yet over at Mississippi oh, State. Oh, really? His name is Calvin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who instigated this entire campaign, and here's, he instigated this entire campaign after Auburn fans at his tailgate refused to give him a cigarette earlier this year at the Mississippi State Auburn game. <laughs> hey! Wait a minute! Hey! 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 Come on now! Come on, Dr. Lou! <laughs> you were loving Urban Meyer jokes right up to then, weren't you? <laughs> Dr. Hater? But while we're talking about where this cam slamming originated, it's looking more and more like it might might be in Tuscaloosa. Uh oh. It doesn't take it doesn't take a genius to realize that Fox Sports reporter Sarah Evans is married to <laughs> former Crimson Tide <laughs> National Championship winning coach, I mean winning QB Jay Barker. <laughs> so the that. Alabama agenda is clear, and Sarah <laughs> used to just leave the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. <laughs> You're too good to be Dookie flinging. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> but guys, Evans, Evans has gained an enormous amount of uh, attention this week after reporting that Cam Newton cheated academically. This is the Fox Sports guy, uh, Thayer Evans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're a little confused. <laughs> no, this, anyway. <laughs> he got it right now. The smear campaign has been dubbed by Cam's father, Cecil, as a character assassination attempt. And I'm going to throw a flag in this situation. Oh, you won't. He's throwing a flag. And say that the history of Cam's mistakes, regardless of their truthfulness, is completely irrelevant and, dis and disgusting. So instead of trying to fi figure out just what Thayer Evans has against <laughs> Cam Newton, I decided to research a reporter's life and reveals to the world a history that indicates poor judgment and danger to society. Okay, so you, you researched this reporter. This reporter, his name is Thayer Evans. It's a true story, and okay. he is he okay. is bass cam the whole week. He's, <laughs> he, he's done what? He did what? <laughs> he did what? What, Coach? He's been flinging Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fling some. I'm about to fling some Dookie back in this place. <laughs> I spoke with a man who checks. I listened. I've got some good sources here. Oh I spoke with a man who checks FoxSports.com daily, and he says that Evans once pinched a girl in the third grade and didn't apologize. Are you uh -uh. kidding me? Uh -uh. Oh, he must have fired him. When I called Evans about this, he stated that she is a mini head, but I cannot confirm or deny that allegation. <laughs> mini head. <laughs> mini head. <laughs> According to this guy who I spoke with. Who has a friend whose daughter saw Evans out eating dinner one time. <laughs> Evans slapped a waiter across the face when she gave him unsweet tea after he asked for sweet tea. Are you serious? Yes, he's extremely abusive, which confirms the information I've received from the other sources, who also wish to remain anonymous. Right. I chatted briefly with a woman this morning who saw a fox at the zoo one time. <laughs> <laughs> and has a friend whose last name is Evans. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me that her friend's Ex-boyfriend's sister used to date their Evans, and not once did he ever open a car door while they were together. You're oh, kidding me. No. Oh. 
Yet another bizarre. Yet another. Exactly. What a jerk. <laughs> yet another bizarre story involving Evans. I spoke with an unnamed source who knew a person who was once an unnamed source in another store one time. Oh wow! <laughs> and she told me that she met a lady who talked to a man. <laughs> they said that Evans killed a mosquito this past summer in public. Oh no, not that. My, My source goodness. went on to say that he had a, a so he had a source that said the mosquito landed on his left calf and without any hesitation, Evans deliberately smashed the mosquito against his leg. Mm. But even more disturbing, he, he continued walking as if nothing had happened. Oh my uh-uh. didn't even look back. Yeah, it's clearly abusive and needs to be locked up. And if that's not enough I talked to a lady yesterday at the grocery store who likes sports. Right. She, and she told me she heard from a distant cousin who passed away four years ago and who attended Evans Church that, that Evans not only allowed the offering plate to pass on several occasions without contributing, but he was once seen buying lunch out at a restaurant afterwards with the money he should have given for, the, for his time. Oh, oh no. no. I mean, you talk about brutal. Just awful. Really struggling with Face. that list there for a second. So. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> I also spoke with a reliable source who actually has all of the Fox Sports channels on DirecTV. Wow, that's uh, a reliable source. Yeah. They must have a, a website That's somewhere. right. And she says that she had a friend who saw Evans in an ga- Exxon gas station last week, and he had a 20-ounce fountain drink in his hand. But after filling the drink up with Coke, he sat in front of the dispenser for several minutes while he sipped on it and filled it back up. No. Nuh-uh. This guy needs to be locked up for his cereal sip stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, as if this previous evidence isn't enough to determine it's what, plenty. The, what the guy's character is, this guy's character is seriously corrupt. I have a source close to a situation involving another situation <laughs> who has confirmed <laughs> that he has a source who has a relative who saw Evans scratch his hiney in public. No. And, then, and not only that, he put his fingers near his mouth after. <laughs> as you can tell, this guy has a lot of issues and a dangerous, is a danger to us all. So if there are any journalism awards for which Thayer Evans is nominated this year, you should not cast your vote for him. If you do, you're just buying into the lie that this girl pinching, waiter slapping, girlfriend ignoring, mosquito murdering, ties keeping, lunch buying, soda stealing, honey scratching, and finger smelling guy has been selling for the past five years. The doctor is out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> 